Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through a super handy trick that designers everywhere are loving, how to add a clickable link to an image right inside Figma. By the end of this quick tutorial, you'll be able to make any image in your design link out to a website, whether it's your portfolio, a client's product, or anything else you need to share. This is an awesome little skill that can really up your Figma game, so let's dive right in. First things first, open up your Figma project. If you're new to Figma or just getting started on a fresh page, don't worry, as soon as you log in, you'll see your list of recent files and that big plus button for a new design. Go ahead, get that open, and let's get ready to add our image. Now let's bring in the image you want to make clickable. You can do this by going over to the toolbar at the top and clicking on the Place Image button. It kind of looks like a little landscape icon. If you don't see it right away, you can also just drag and drop your image file straight into your Figma frame. Once you've got the image in there, resize it, move it around, get it looking just how you want. This is the image that'll act as your clickable button or link. Next up, we're going to add a text layer, and this is a neat little workaround. So click on the text tool, that's the big T in your toolbar, and type anything, even just a space or a dot if you don't want might not want any visible text later. But for now, let's type something like visit website or www.cars.com, just so we can see what's happening. Make sure to increase the font size so the text covers the same area as your image. You want the text frame to overlap the whole image, almost like placing a clear sheet right on top. Once you've got your text, go ahead and position it right over your image. You might need to stretch it, center it, or resize the font to make it fit perfectly. Take your time lining it up. This step is important because the text frame will be what actually holds our clickable link. Imagine it like laying down invisible tape on your image that will catch all the clicks. Now with your text selected, look up to the top right corner of Figma. You'll see a little link icon. It usually says create link when you hover over it. Click on that and a field will pop up asking for a link. This is where you paste your URL. For example, let's type in www.cars.com as our link today. Hit enter and you've basically turned this text box into a clickable link. But here comes the clever part. We want the link to work when someone clicks the image, not just the text. So right click on your text and select send to back. But be careful here, you want to send the text layer behind the image layer, not all the way behind everything in your frame. This will actually put the invisible link area beneath the picture. In Figma, clickable links can still be triggered even if a transparent or invisible text layer sits underneath an image, so when users click the image, the link fires right up. If you've got lots of layers, use the Layers panel on the left to make sure your stacking order is correct. And that's it. You can now click on your image and it'll take you to the website you set, a super practical way to add interactivity to your portfolio, project handoff, or prototype. Remember, don't worry if the first time you try this it feels a bit odd. Sometimes resizing the text or getting the layering just right takes a little practice. I hope this was helpful. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up. Got a question or want to share how you're using image links in your own designs? Drop it in the comments below, I always love hearing from you. And don't forget to subscribe for more Figma tips, tricks, and design tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy designing.